Hello out there, you YouTubers. God bless you. God bless America. God bless them St. Louis Cardinals. I got my Cardinal shirt on tonight. Uh, help me pray that the St. Louis uh, Cardinals win the World Series. We're going to have a heck of a World Series. Uh, St. Louis Cardinals and the Texas Rangers, you know. That's what America is all about. God and World Series and apple pie and Chevrolet, I guess. Or Ford, whatever you want to call it. Or GMC. God bless you. I got some more prophecies from the throne room tonight. God has given me a new revelation, a new prophecy. I'm going to prophesy. God says, open your mouth, George. You're my prophet to the nation. You're my newspaper prophet to the nations. You're my YouTube prophet to the nations. you my prophet to the nations. Me, Betty R. And this is a new prophecy tonight. Um, prophecy on the U.S. Congress. I'm going to prophesy right now where the Lord lays on my heart. And all you got to do is release your faith. The God of Israel and Jesus, the Savior and uh, Messiah, will release this prophetic word for the glory be to God. Prophecy on U.S. Congress. God of Israel is going to get the hook in their jaw and a new world order there in U.S. Congress and the House of Representatives and, and the uh, Senate. Uh, they're going to be humbled in the sight of the Lord Jesus Christ. God of Israel there. They're trying to do their agenda. And right now, all their monkey business only have under uh, one month to get rid of a million and a half uh, trillion dollars of the budget. And it won't happen because they uh, tax and spend liberals there and the Democrats and some of the Republicans there. They don't want to cut enough. And, and you're going to see uh, that's going into Christmas. It's going to be in there like a debt uh, limit here, uh, extension right now. Christmas time. The American taxpayers go to supper, and it's going to be a black Christmas. What I mean by black Christmas, they're going to have arguing and stone round and playing monkey business like a three-wing circus in the Congress there. It's going to be just a bunch of uh, uh, three students and, and monkey business and playing a good scam game here and shell game. And what we're going to see in this Christmas 2011, there's going to be a lot of coals in the taxpayer stockets. Uh, stockings. We're going to be took to the cleaners again, and they might pull some last minute Christmas Eve uh, funny business and, and monkey business. You don't know what's going to happen here, but I know that uh, that uh, one and a half trillion dollars, they won't come to agreement, and, and we need a miracle from God. Oh God, you got to cut it. We're broke. The United States of America and the Congress, you know, come to their senses that you're going to see the elections in 2012. The taxpayers, the American taxpayers, have had enough how they've been took to the cleaners and they're losing their jobs and losing their homes and all the professional politicians in Washington, D.C., all they care about their jobs, how much money they get in their pocket. They don't care about the working people. The American uh, middle class, the American dream, the American middle class is wiped out. It's a new invisible uh, middle class. Anymore, the poor is getting poor and rich getting richer, and it don't seem like nobody in Washington, D.C. and Congress, they're up there in the ivory tower, but God's going to use the people and all the incumbents, the prophecy, the word of the Lord for 2012, all the incumbent Republicans and Democrats and independents, the people is going to speak, and they're going to throw the bums out in Jesus' name. You know, the people's taking it back, and I got this prophecy this is prophecy today on October the 18th, 2011, fresh from the throne room of God, new manna from heaven. You can take this to the spiritual banks of Jesus, but this prophecy I'm going to read right now is being fulfilled. This prophecy God gave me on November the 3rd, 2010, little under a year old. Here it is. Here's the prophecy I'm showing to you right here. This is God's prophecy He gave to me. And for God's glory, I'm going to read it now. And in this part, when I get down to Wall Street, I prophesied this over a little under a year ago, that the Wall Street golden calf will be destroyed, the people will take to the streets. This was the word of the Lord, this prophecy here, under a year old. And the prophecy that I prophesied just now to you about prophecy on U.S. Congress, You'll see this happen in the next year that God will perform it because I'm God's prophet 
to the nation for his glory. Here's the prophecy God gave to me that what's happening today on Wall Street, Occupy Wall Street. It's in this prophecy. It's in this prophecy about U.S. Congress, what's happening today. And you heard a new word tonight. Going to happen in next year, but this is what happened in last year. This prophecy, November the 3rd, 2010. Prophecy in the U.S. Congress. The Lord thy God in Israel heard the cries of his Christian remnant in the USA for a change we can believe in. In Jesus, for the glory of God. The U.S. prophets have been warning the people to repent for the kingdom of God is at hand and the end is near. The Christian people voted out the New World Order money changers in the U.S. Congress who would have sold out their mothers down the river for the right price. Antichrist Obama's New World Order plans will be slowed down to destroy America the Beautiful. Since 1620, the hand of God has been on America for 390 years of God's blessings. The covenant of God will always stand with that raiment of God in America. Muslim Obama's agenda will be halted for a season in the USA. In the next two years, there will be lots of gridlock in the U.S. Congress. Obama's nation of desolation health care will be repealed. For the voice of the people spoke it loud and clear. Let the liberty bell ring freedom throughout the land. We are traveling pilgrim in this holy, blessed, promised land of the USA. Now, listen closely. The next paragraph is a prophecy. I prophesied of November 3rd, 2010. It's being fulfilled on Occupy Wall Street tonight. It's being fulfilled a little under a year later. Wall Street fat cats will bow down to God Almighty. The golden cap of Wall Street will be destroyed for the people, of the people, and by the people will cry out in unison in the streets. Freedom will be restored and the U.S. people will see the vision of the Lord. Washington, D.C. will be changed in a twinkling of an eye. The power of God will fall on the U.S. Congress for a better future for America. For our wearing strangers in the holy land of America will drink the spiritual waters at the oasis in the middle of the desert to catch a vision of the apocalypse, for it is very near. The God of Israel will put his hook in the jaw of Antichrist Obama to humble himself in the sight of the Lord. In the next two years, there will be more change in the USA than the first 234 years. Amen. Shalom. And this prophecy was given to me by the God of Israel and Jesus, the Savior and Messiah, on November 13, 2010. It's being fulfilled today in the streets of, of Wall Street out there, Occupy Wall Street. It was in that prophecy just under a year ago. And I said the prophecy beginning of this video, I thank you, YouTube, putting it on the site to hit all uh, North America and South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East, God. Let the power of God open their spiritual ears and spiritual eyes and uh, spiritual minds. Let them understand this prophetic revelation from the throne room of God. You're fresh manna from heaven. You're bread uh, of Jesus Christ. That is the word of the Lord tonight. I give God all the praise, all the glory, and honor. And I want you to pray with me right now. What we've seen happen in the U.S. Congress. We're in the last days, perilous times, Jacob's trouble. We don't know. Uh, Jesus is returning soon. He could come any day. There's not much time left. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, turn your life over to the Lord, your greatest decision in your life. Turn it tonight. Say this prayer with me. Agree with me. And two, three, if you touch anything on earth, it will be touched in heaven. Two, three, if you bound anything on earth, it will be bound in heaven. Heaven is thrown, the earth is filled still. Say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus Christ, I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for forgiving me for my sins. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for dying for me. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, my name's written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Lord Jesus Christ, I'm born again. Thank you, Lord Jesus. When I die, I'll go to heaven and be with you, God, and Jesus with the loved ones up in heaven. Thank you in Jesus' name. If you said that prayer today, give God 
uh, the best shout, give them a bite of Christ, say thank you, Jesus, give them the best hand clap. You made your uh, greatest decision in your life, Jesus Christ, just come in your heart in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. I thank you, Lord Jesus, saving hundreds of people today. Oh, Lord Jesus, let the hand of God come down on them, Lord, and, and fill them with the Holy Ghost and fire from the crown of their head to the soles of feet. You saved hundreds and thousands of souls on YouTube. Your, your spiritual cyberspace tonight. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Deliver them, heal them. Let them call me and Betty up and George and Betty Kelly's channel on YouTube. Send us an email. Tell us Jesus saved your soul tonight. All right, it's our addresses on George and Betty Kelly's channel on YouTube. The good news, Jesus Christ saved your soul. The greatest news. In America, made the front page of newspapers in heaven. For the glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Pray for me and Betty Cully. We love you out there in YouTube spiritual cyberspace of the God of Israel. And uh, just keep praying for us. Me and Betty Cully be praying for you. Pray for the least of brother ministry in Pinkneyville, Illinois. And give God all the glory and praise and honor. Worship God for the testimony of Jesus and the spirit of prophecy. We all love you tonight, but most important, Jesus loved you first before you loved him. The first Corinthians chapter 13, the unconditional love of Jesus, the agape love of Jesus. Jesus loves you. You're special. Just turn your eyes upon Jesus. Jesus will help you in the hard times, the bad times, the ugly times, the valley shadow of death. When you're out there in the desert, when you don't think nobody else cares. Jesus Christ, King of King and Lord of Lords. Jesus Christ, the Alpha Omega. Jesus Christ, the First to Last. Jesus Christ, the Savior, Messiah. Will hold your hand and take you in a promised land. Milk and honey, Beale's land, Canaan's land. Oh God, we love you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Praise your holy name. Thank you, Jesus.